Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. My name is Jonathan, and welcome to the Alternate Indie Halloween Special. Hi, everyone. Future Jonathan here. I just wanted to let you guys know, this was supposed to be our Halloween video, but one of our editors got really lazy and decided to wait two weeks before making this video. I mean, look at this. Look. Here's me, right here, saying, Hey, look, I'm Jonathan, I'm funny, ha ha ha, it's our Halloween video. <laughs> but, now it's November. It's halfway through November, actually. It's almost, almost, how many days till Christmas? Gosh, we've about 40-something days until Christmas. Oh my gosh. Now we have to make a Christmas video, but with my editors, I'm the editor, I'm the editor, don't listen, I'm the editor. <laughs> it's going to be like two months after Christmas till that comes up, so... I just want to say, disregard everything I say about Halloween. It's not Halloween. Just pretend it is, okay? You know, let's go back in time. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hey, happy Halloween, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, since today is Halloween, it got us thinking. Gee, there sure are a lot of regular creepy people running around. What if there are regular creepy people, but in video games? Psh, mind blown, right? So anyways, today we're making a list about the top five creepy bosses in video games. I hope you guys enjoy. Wait. Did you guys hear that? That's probably nothing, sorry. Oh. Hang on, I gotta go check this out. Well, that was really weird. Could have sworn I heard something, but since there's nothing here, I guess I'll just head back to the room. Oh my god! <laughs> Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. <laughs> Starting off this list at number five is Armagoma from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, I realize that giant spiders are nothing new in the video game industry. They seem to be in every single horror game. But when I played this game, I was still about 10 or 11 years old, and I was very scared of spiders at that time. So seeing a giant 50-foot spider that shoots lasers at you kind of creeped me out as a child. Now, looking back on it now that I'm a relatively <laughs> mature adult, it can be creepy still. Not scary like it was as a child, but still creepy. And also the fact that it shoots out little babies that try to eat you is also quite unsettling. So yeah, um, spiders, they're, they're just creepy regardless, in my opinion. <laughs> now, I know that Gaping Dragon is the fourth creepiest boss on the list, but I think there must have been some sort of mistake. Just look at this guy. There's no way this cute little crocodile could possibly be... Oh. Oh my. Goodness gracious! Heavens to Betsy! Oh my god! Well... Suffice to say, this thing is terrifying. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to this list after therapy. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, I'm back from therapy. That was really fast. So if I can get off on a tangent for just a moment, I absolutely love the Persona series. Or at least 3 and 4, since those are the only ones I've played at this point. I am incredibly excited about Persona 5, and if you guys want me to do a video talking about Persona 5, or just the Persona series in general, please let me know. I would love to do it. Getting back on topic, the bosses in Persona 4 are called Shadows, and they're the physical manifestations of a human's suppressed desires and emotions. As you can imagine, this leads to some very creepy boss designs. We've got creepy bosses such as, hmm, let's check, um, this chick on a pile of dead bodies. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Um, this flying robot thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be creepy too. Um, a bird in a cage. Gotcha. Um, okay. Eh. An icon of homosexuality. Uh, gotcha. A giant teddy bear. And a stripper. Yeah, okay. Anyways, these bosses aren't creepy just because of their designs. They're also creepy because they come directly from ourselves and our hidden desires. It makes me wonder that if I was in the game, what would the monster inside of me look like? What would yours look like? Hmm. Maybe it's humanity that's the real monster. Hmm. 
This next character is kicking it old school, but it's still creepy nonetheless. Body Weapon from Shinobi 3 is a pile of various organs and body parts reanimated with the sole purpose of ending your face and giving you that big fat game over screen. Even with these simpler graphics, you should still have no trouble seeing why this boss character is nothing but nightmare fuel. Those soulless eyes, that evil grin, it sort of reminds you of something, doesn't it? Or someone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to number one. The creepiest boss fight of all time is Isaac's girlfriend from Dead Space 2. So why is she so creepy? Cause she's a woman. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much flack for that. Anyways, all jokes aside, this boss is creepy for a few reasons, and also, spoilers ahead, you have been warned. To begin with, this isn't actually Isaac's girlfriend, because Nicole, which is her name, she actually died in the first game, so obviously she can't begin the second one. This is an illusion created by the Marker, which is an alien artifact that creates necromorphs, which are the monsters you've been fighting the entire game. So you've got an illusion of your creepy dead girlfriend following you the entire game, and right at the end, she tries to kill you by, get this, pulling you inside of your own head and then trying to force you to shoot yourself in the face. Now that's pretty creepy. Now this can get into the realm of actual horror game stuff, but this is my list, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> and besides just, you know, creepy possessed girlfriends, she actually is scary looking because she's missing both her eyeballs. Missing eyes, huh? Now that's something I'm sure Isaac knows about. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I see what you did there. Self high five. Boom. Well, I don't even play the ukulele. I don't know what this is for. Anyways, that was our top five creepiest bosses in video games. If you have five of your own creepy bosses, please share them in the comments with all your friends. We'd love to know what you're thinking. And also, hope you all have a wonderful Halloween. And be careful, kids. You never know what's lurking out there. Oh, not again. Ah! Uh, hey buddy, what's up? Hey there! I like to jump on people and... Funny, <sighs> funny stuff. Stuart, we gotta be funnier. Write better scripts.